Hello everyone, today I thought we'd take a look at application layouts. This is going to use the action view layouts. I have a Ruby doc here. I think this is from Rails 4, uh, but most of what's in here is still largely relevant. Effectively, what these layouts are going to allow you to do is take something uh, similar to the example they have here, where you might have a header and a footer that you render everywhere. And instead of including a header uh, on like your, your layout itself, if you're an admin, you might have like a second header below this one. What we can instead do is uh, ensure that you just have a different application.html.erb file that's shown to admin users as opposed to the regular users. So for this, we're gonna be using devise just so that we have a basic starting point to jump off from. And I'm just gonna show you pretty roughly uh, sort of how you get this to work. So what we're gonna do is CD out of here and we're going to do a Rails new video. I'll do a CD into the video project and I'll do a code dot to open this up in VS Code. It's a pretty simple uh, you know, solution once you see it, uh, but it does take a little bit of thought for, I guess, both how you would uh, set it up and also how you would find this information because, dear God, this was actually not super easy to stumble across, which is why I'm sitting here looking at a Rails 4 doc. Uh, but okay, what we're gonna do is we're going to start by adding device. I'm gonna do a bundle add device. That will do all of that. I can go ahead and stop that. We can come over to our gem file while that's running. We have device in here and because I'm on the cringe uh, Ruby 3.2, I do need to add the form and gem again. And then I'll go ahead and run a bundle command to install this. That'll take care of that. Now what I wanna do is generate a controller. So I'll say Rails G controller pages home. Go ahead and run that. Now I want to come over to my app, my config, my uh, routes inside of my routes. I want to change this get to a root and the slash to a hash. And then I'm also going to do a Rails G, um, let's see, Rails G scaffold post, give each post a title and a body of type text. This is mostly just for testing. So we have other pages to go look at. Looks like I'm done wood cutting on RuneScape. So I got to move to a new tree. Okay. So now that we have all of this, what we can do is uh, very quickly install device. So what I'm gonna do is run a rails g device colon install command, and then I'll do a rails g device colon, oops, uh, not colon, rails g device user command. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm gonna just let my character sit in the corner for a minute. He's in timeout. He's being kind of annoying right now. Okay, now that we have that, let's come over to our users real quick. So our app, our models, and our user.rb. I'm gonna close the solar graph stuff. Uh, right at the top here above the user, I'm going to add a enum for the role, give it a regular and an admin. This is just very basic stuff so that we can get something up and running real fast. Uh, and the other thing I have to do here is scroll down to where ChatGPT gave me the code for this and generate a migration for the add roles to users. Let me F11 so you can actually read this. We just add role to users and we call the role uh, a type integer. Go ahead and run that. That'll give us that migration. So now we can use that. And now what we have to do is uh, come up to our application layout. So we'll come up here to app, our controllers and our application controller. So this comes with Rails by default. And then in here is where we wanna do sort of the magic step. So what I'd like to do is in here at the top, just say this needs to have a layout. And I wanna set this layout not to application, but to a method that I'm gonna call uh, set layout. I come down here create a private section do a def set layout and and then in here you can have your logic maybe i don't know if it's the fourth friday of the month uh you should render the super special friday layout uh if you have a device controller maybe you want to have a device specific layout where maybe you show more user information or something uh etc cetera, etc cetera. but here i don't want to use device controller what i want to do is say if we are the current underscore user and because we set up that enum in our user right here, we're gonna get a helper method that lets us do dot admin question mark. This is the same thing as doing if current underscore user and current user dot admin. Or you could even say uh, current user dot admin equals true. Something like that is what this is doing. And what this allows you to do is uh, it ensures you won't error if not logged in when you check 
uh, if admin. So if you're trying to figure out if the user is an admin, but they're not logged in, you're going to get an error here because current user will be nil. And then you'll call dot admin on current user. That'll throw an error. That's why we have this little ampersand that just does the check initially. If the user is not logged in, uh, this whole thing will just not uh, be an issue. It'll come down here to the else anyways. So what I'm going to do here is instead of having this be uh, device, I want to change this to admin. So now what it's going to do is it's going to set the layout to be the result of this. And the result of this is going to be a return string. This return string is going to correlate to in our app views layouts, one of the files in here. We have a mailer.html.erb, uh, a mailer.text.erb, and the application.html.erb, which of course is our default. So what we can do in here is right click new file, call this admin.html.erb. We can come in here and just say adminable or something, just so that we have something in here. Uh, and what this is gonna do is it's gonna render this instead of our application.html.erb. So now I wanna come over to our homepage. I'm gonna come to, uh, let me actually start the server real quick. Go come over to localhost port 3000. I'm gonna run the pending migrations. Now we're on the home page here. So you can see we're not seeing that adminable because of course we're not an admin user yet. So what I want to do now is uh, I'm just going to come over to the uh, home page. So in our pages and our home right here, uh, this is, I'm just going to copy this over because I hate typing this out every time. Uh, I'm going to do something like this, grab all of this. Okay. So what we have here, we actually don't need this. Uh, what we have here is a check if we are the current user. If we are, we just print out the user's role. We link to a logout button. And because we're on Rails 7, we need the data colon turbo method delete to have this be a uh, delete method. For the actual uh, login button, we don't need anything extra. But this will allow us to at least have a login and logout feature with a role set. So now we can come over here and refresh. We can log in, which means we can click sign up. I'm going to sign up as dean at example.com. And I'm just going to copy my email and paste it in here because it's really fast. So now we're logged in, but you can see we don't have a role set. So just to hack this a little bit, I'm going to do a console right here over here and refresh. I'm going to close my JavaScript console and I'm just going to do a current underscore user. It gives me that user. I'm going to set their dot role equal to user dot roles. And we can grab the admin role, I guess. So that's one. And now we can maybe do a current underscore user dot save. Okay, you'll see up here or down here, we've updated our user and set the role to be one. So now we can get rid of this console. So I'll just go ahead and save this. And now what I can do is just real quick, say current underscore user dot admin question mark. And we can see that's true. Alternatively, you can also use the exclamation mark after the enum to just set it like that. That'll also do your set. Uh, but okay, we got rid of our console. Let's go ahead and refresh. And now you can see we just have the adminable here. So now what we're getting is just a uh, thing that is unique to the role that we want to display stuff to. Now, of course, what you can do from this point is maybe you can say, uh, I want to have my admins have a similar experience to what you get if you are in the regular application layout. So up here uh, in the application layout, we just grab this whole thing, come over to our uh, admin.html.erb. We just paste this in, we'll grab this adminable. Maybe we change the title of the application to be adminable. And we just put whatever we want to above the yield tag here. So this will look just like our regular application.html.erb file, but of course it has something extra. You can come over here and refresh. And now you can see we have this uh, additional admin functionality here and uh, we still have the regular stuff being rendered here. We can go over to slash posts and we can just check that out real quick. See here, our posts are fine. We can click new post, test, and case. We're doing all this with our admin stuff up on top. You can put your footer stuff down here if you want to. I don't know, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, maybe we'll do like a BR, so it looks a little bit cleaner. Oops, a little bit cleaner. Uh, now, why this is uh, really useful is because it allows you to separate out your logic a little bit more than just having all of your admin checks like up here inside of your application.html.erb file in the regular layout. Now, you know, there's there's other clever ways to make this a bit cleaner. There's ways to ensure that, um, you know, you're not duplicating as much code like as we're doing here, uh, because of course we have all of this stuff up here inside of one or inside of two locations. 
generally you got two locations you're probably okay it's usually right around like repeating code a third time where your your spidey senses should start tingling and then maybe you should think to yourself i should probably refactor this into something that's a little bit more maintainable uh because if you refactor too soon you might end up realizing that your refactor needs a refactor when you do other changes and you can just end up in this weird feedback loop so i usually prefer to wait until it like happens at least twice and then i'm like all right now i know it's happened twice already i'm doing it a third time this is going to be a consistent pattern that needs to be dealt with that's not really the point of this video uh, i just wanted to sort of show you how to set up one of these things so now if we come over to like localhost port 3000 incognito we won't see that adminable because we're just a regular user right and come over here log in as uh let's do john at doe.com you can just paste this in real quick sign up and you can see he's also not seeing it because he's just a regular user and he's not a uh a admin user you can also see up here our titles change so we know that we set that inside of our admin layout here uh, so that's also working but yeah that's all i really wanted to show you it's kind of a niche thing where you might not find a use for it necessarily uh, but if it's something you've been looking into how to do hopefully this clears it up in a quick ish way uh, and hopefully i will see you in the next video